Welcome to my channel. One of the things that irritates me more than anything else is when leaders lie to us. And our leaders have been lying to us a lot about border security. That's what I'm going to talk about today. <clears throat> but before I do that, I have to thank every one of you that comes to my channel, that views my videos, that likes them, that comments on them, that shares them. And especially, I have to thank those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I just, I, I'm so thankful for that. I can't express my thankfulness enough. This is a video that came across my desk and I wanted to show it to you. It's about the border in uh, Egypt called the Rafa crossing. Israel controls all of the access points to the Gaza Strip, save for one, the Philadelphia Corridor at the Rafa border crossing, which is controlled by Egypt. The corridor is strictly regulated by Egypt and any border crossers are poorly subjected to bribes and lengthy bureaucratic harassment. However, despite all that Israeli officials, including the prime minister, see the 8.7 mile stretch of land as a weak point in their war against Hamas. They believe that weapons and other contraband can be smuggled across that barrier into the Gaza Strip. And so Israel is warning Egypt they will take control of that border crossing one way or the other, which could include by military action. That is something they warned about over the weekend, and it's obviously a sore spot and a point of contention between the two nations. But that's not my point here tonight. My point here is to say, look at Egypt's border wall in the first place. Look how immense it is, how tall it is, covered in barbed wire, heavily armed and protected. The side of this giant wall has not sparked a single peep of outcry or protest in the West by those who call our own porous border and its connected shelters akin to a concentration camp. When I saw this image of a border wall built by a nation allowed to say that it has foreign enemies and needs to protect its own people, it immediately gave me a sense of how futile this continual argument over our border. Look at this. This is the border wall that Egypt built. You see these, this wall here, there's actually two walls here, as you can see, a higher one in the back, a lower one in the front, but look at this. Doesn't this look exactly like the panels that we were putting up on the border in America? Exactly like them right in here? They do to me. You haven't heard a word about this border wall, not a single word. No one has complained about how they're keeping the Palestinians trapped in Gaza the poor, innocent civilians can't get out. No one's talked about that. No one said, look at this awful wall that they have here that's keeping people from getting into safety. But boy, they talk about the walls we have, don't they? What little bit we do have and how horrible it is and how inhumane it is. You see, people are always creating narratives to get what they want. And what they want in America, and this is both Democrats and Republicans, don't kid yourself, the Republicans are in on this just as much as the Democrats. They want open borders. Why? Because they can get cheap labor. They can get people to come in to our country and drive wages down, drive incomes down, and they can make more profit. That's the reason they're doing it. Yes, I know the Democrats also get lots of votes from it. But that's not the primary driver, trust me. The primary driver is getting cheap labor in here to offset the high cost of American workers. the hypocrisy of looking at this border and realizing that not one single person in the world has pointed it out, complained about it, said it was evil, said it was hurting people. Not one single person in the world has said that. 
So here's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe that there's nothing wrong with Egypt doing this. Look at, look at it. They've got concrete barriers in the front with concertina wire. They've got concertina wire at two levels on the first wall and at the top of the second wall, which is apparently, I think these are probably 20 feet high or 30 feet high, and these are either 30 or 40 feet high. Nobody's climbing those walls. Trust me, it ain't happening. But, oh boy, let's talk about the wall in, in uh, Texas. Let's talk about the wall on the southern border of the United States. And, oh my God, it's so, it's so inhumane. It's so cruel. It's so mean. And it's so racist. You see how they drive the narrative to what they want? You see how they get you stir up your emotions and get you to think about the impacts on the people instead of the impacts on the nation. They get you worried about a poor little individual coming across the border and how that's going to affect his individual life and not a word is said about the security of our nation. Because our borders are wide open, we've had military age males come into our country from China and from many terrorist countries. And we're not supposed to do anything about that. They don't care if these people come in and they don't care if they kill hundreds of Americans as long as they get their low wages. Look at that wall, look at that wall. That's our wall without the Carnsatina wire. That's the wall that Trump was putting up and that Biden stopped. And now, as you'll see as we continue this video, Biden is doing everything in his power, everything in his power to prevent Texas from keeping people from pouring into our state. And you, you, can't, you can't even imagine what it's like to be in a border town in this state, in the state of Texas. And I'm sure it's the same in Arizona. I'm sure it's the same in California. When you live on the border and you have farmland or ranch land on the border, your life is in constant danger from the people crossing into your property, defecating, urinating, dropping their stuff on your property, shooting at you, trying to break into your home and steal your stuff. It's constant. And you got to believe those people down there in South Texas and South Arizona and South California are frustrated beyond comprehension at what's going on. But their voice doesn't matter because we got bigger fish to fry. We got money to make. We got votes to get. And those are more important. It is so, so frustrating. So utterly frustrating. In the U.S. really is. I know the left likes to pretend that building a border wall at our southern Look at border that wall. wouldn't work and would just be a waste of money. But when has the left ever cared about <coughs> wasting money or using taxpayer dollars to build something that won't work? That has never been their problem with it. They know border walls work and that they work all too well. That is the left's problem with it. They only sue Texas over the barriers and other impediments that do work. See, look what the Biden administration is doing to our state. Look at it. They sued over the buoy bar barriers they sued to ask, allow border agents to cut razor wire that was installed. They sued over Texas wanting to arrest migrants who enter the U.S. illegally after they're on Texas land and they're in our jurisdiction and our sovereignty. They're not just trying to destroy the borders of the nation. They're trying to destroy destroy the borders of the states. They're trying to turn this into one 
huge concentration camp is what came to mind, but that's probably not the best word for it. One huge dictatorship. That's what they want. They want absolute, complete control over our lives. They want us to shut up. They don't want us to do anything to protect ourselves. They want to take away our guns. They want to take away our freedom. They want to take away our borders. They want to take everything. It angers me so much. Like their buoy system, their barbed wire, and now the approval for local law enforcement and judges to expel illegal immigrants from the state. That's why Democrats in Congress will give money to nations like Egypt or Jordan for their own border walls and border security, but never for our own border wall. We're never going to win the left on this debate because their minds... Did you hear that? Did you hear that? We gave money to Egypt for them to build that wall you just saw. <laughs> oh, the hypocrisy is just overwhelming. It's, it's, it oozes out of every pore of these people. <laughs> they could care less about America. They could care less about you. They could care less about me. They could care less about our security, about our safety, about our families, about anything about us. The Texas governor decided maybe the solution to this problem was to distribute the pain. So he started busing migrants to other cities, to cities that claimed they were sanctuary cities. And now those, those mayors are screaming bloody murder but not because they're getting the migrants. No, 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 no. They don't have a problem with that. They're screaming because they want the federal government to give them more money. And in New York City, they kicked the school, they kicked the children out of schools so they could use the schools to house migrants. They have migrants living in hotels, paying $200 a night for the rooms. Your tax dollars. How, how, how much longer are you going to put up with this? How much longer are Americans going to sit back and let this crap go on and not say enough? Enough. We've had enough. And vote every one of the jerks out. Vote them all out. Turn Congress over all 535 seats. You know I can go on and on and on about this. It just angers me so much. It, it infuriates me. Already settled. Me to Joining no us end. now to discuss is Brandon Gill, the Trump endorsed Republican but candidate for the 26th congressional district. All I can do is is talk about it. All, that's all I can do is just talk about it with you and hope that you'll spread the word and hope that you'll see the light. Hope that you'll wake up and hope that you'll do something about it. That's all I can do. That and pray like crazy to God and ask for help. Because really, God is the answer. God's the only answer. It's sure not going to be any human being. <laughs> you know, you people on the right that think Trump is going to save you. Trump's not going to save you. God is. And you people on the left that vote for the Bidens and all the other jerks that are in the Democrat Party, you're sick in the head. You're blind. You're an idiot. That's my opinion, okay? You come to my channel, that's what you're going to get, is my opinions. For all of you that come and view my videos, I still, after all this, pray that you will live abundant lives, regardless of what happens to our country. I pray that you'll be live a long life and that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. He's done all of that for me, and I pray he does it for you too. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, 
you will make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.